Hi, my name is Tyler Britton. I'm a developer engineer with VMware, and today we're going to talk about an open source tool called KPAC. So what is KPAC? Uh, KPAC is a Kubernetes tool um, that automates the building of, of OCI compliant container images uh, using cloud native build packs. So if you're not familiar with cloud native build packs, uh, it gets rid of the need for a Docker file as the uh, build packs identify the code uh, and then use the appropriate tools to build it into a container image. Uh, you can see there's links there for more info on both build packs and KPAC. So what do we need to get started here today? We need a Kubernetes cluster um, using Docker Desktop, uh, the kubectl command line. Um, you need that downloaded and installed. And uh, access to a container registry. Uh, in this case, I'm using GCR, but any compatible container registry will do. So Docker, uh, Harbor, anything like that. So let's get started. Um, first, let's look at our cluster here. And we can see the only things we have in here are the stuff that Docker desktop installs, so the basic Kubernetes pieces uh, and the Docker Compose bits. So now uh, the only other thing I have installed here or created is a uh, secret called GCR RegSec. So this is how I'm um, authenticating to the GCR. So if we look at the KPAC um, KPAC code here in the instructions, we'll see that the uh, secret we need, the different secret types. So this is what we're using here. I'm using a, a JSON key for, for GCR, um, but you can see there's other ones for, for Docker registry or, or other ones. So I have that already created. The next thing I need is a um, is the uh, to install KPAC itself. So where we'd get that here is on the releases. So here's the release files. Um, there's the release uh, file right there, but I already have it downloaded. So dash F. So now as you can see, it creates a namespace called KPAC, uh, custom resource definitions, uh, and, and deploy some other stuff. So let's take a look at what it installed. Yeah, get. Oh, and we'll check in the KPAC namespace. And we have our uh, two KPAC pods that run the controller and the webhooks for KPAC uh, to trigger builds and things like that. So next thing we need is a cluster builder or some sort of builder. They can be namespace with a regular builder, a cluster builder is cluster wide. So that's what we're gonna create. So if we look, it's very simple. Uh, let's say create a cluster builder what uh, what's its name and what image you're using. So we're using the Cloud Native Build, the Cloud Foundry Cloud Native Build Pack. So if we uh, apply this, it's created. Uh, and let's take a look at it. And you can see the, uh, here's the cluster builder and it's showing all the uh, build packs of the Paquetto build packs as access to. So you can see all the different languages. So whenever uh, you run the, um, the KPAC builder, it will um, pick the appropriate build pack for the language that you have and, and build using it. So we now have our builder. Uh, we need a service account um, that's going to use that registry secret to be able to uh, run uh, KPAC. So let's, let's create this. All right, so now we have our service account, we have our secret, we have our cluster builder. Now we need to define the the build we want to build, the image. Uh, so if you do, you'll see there's no images. Um, so I have a builder set up here. See, here's its name. Um, what are we tagging it with? This is the, uh, the image. So here's my GCR registry. Uh, here's what I'm calling it. There's a service account we just created, the cluster builder we just created. And then our source we're saying is Git. It can also be what we call blob, which would be a, a already compiled um, artifact. So if, in this case, it's Java. If you had a jar file already, you could point directly to it. Um, but you'll see here, I'm, I'm pointing to a GitHub URL. So let's take a quick peek at that. So this is this uh, GitHub repository. As you say, it's a uh, it's got Maven configs. It's a, it's a spring, um, spring app. So um, all we need to do is uh, apply this file and it's going to uh, create the builder. All 
So now if we do a, we should see, now we see a pod created because it's starting to create it. We can look at the image after, but let's take a look at the logs. So I'm using a tool called Stern, which looks for uh, any, any container with matching that pod name. So you can see first step is analyze. It's looking at the, um, the code it downloaded and it can see that the, um, it's picking Java build packs to build this. So you can see this is this uh, build pack. Um, and here it goes, it's starting to download all of the spring, various spring components uh, with Maven to build this, uh, build this image. So let's take a break from that. And if we do get images now, we see there's this one, it's not, it says unknown cause it's not ready. We can see what builds are happening. So here's the build for that image. So we can describe both of these. Oops. Describe we want image, pet clinic image. So this shows uh, this, that stuff that we created. So we said, here's where, here's the source, here's what we're tagging it, what builder it's using. And this is what shows us our build ref right there. So we can do scribe build. And this will tell us all about the build. So it's saying what build number it is, um, which builder image it's using, where it's pulling it from, uh, how it's going to tag the image, uh, what pod it's using to build it in, and all of the steps in it, all the different container steps, so it's still going. Um, so if we switch back to Stern, we'll see it's, it's still in the middle of a build. So let's just uh, wait for a minute here, and this should be done in uh, in a moment. Okay, now that we've given that enough time to finish, let's take a look. Yep, we can see that this image is completed. Uh, so the build totally finished with the pod. So now let's take a look at what it says for the build itself. Yep, our build completed, uh, and it has the image version. And uh, we can also get the get image. Uh, if we had multiple builds uh, for this image, so if it's been built a couple times, when we did get builds, we would see more versions of it. But now we can see we have a completed tagged image that's been pushed. So we can even do a Docker pull. Let's go get that image. There we go. We have a image that's easily accessible. And so the entire process finished. So we started with a Git repo. We never wrote any Docker files or anything like that. And with a pretty simple, um, you know, pretty simple uh, manifest like this, uh, we we're able to turn that repo into a runnable Docker image. So we can even let's Docker run. There we go. We have a runnable container. All right. Break us here. And thanks for watching this video about KPAC. Uh, for more information, uh, definitely check out the um, the KPAC repo. We have it here. GitHub.com. Check out buildpacks.io. Uh, for more information on cloud native build packs and there's some other tools you can use cloud native build packs with thank you